In my last presentation to you all, I talked about all the little things that can be done now that don't need to be a treaty. Yeah. When we had the first New Way Summit at the ANU, Australian National University, Aidan Allen Tank, I remember Paul Cole making a very significant point for the, what was it, 680 people who were engaged in that conference, both on the internet and present physically at that meeting. Um, Paul was very, very, very um, precise in saying something that is so important for everybody to consider when we talk about treaties. The thing that Paul Coe said was, when we start thinking about treaty, we have to ask ourselves one very important question. Are we talking about a treaty that's governed by international law? Or are we talking about a treaty that's governed by domestic law? So, what does that mean? There is an international law convention, and um, they call it the Vienna Convention, um, the law of treaties. That covers treaty making between sovereign nation states, yeah? and how that, those treaties are to be governed, and, how, and the terms, and the negotiation methods. So they lay the foundation on all of those key factors of nego treaty negotiations and understanding the, the legality of those treaties under international law. So what does it truly represent in terms of the um, obligations on the part of the two parties or the three parties or who, however many are involved in the treaties? Each one has to be negotiating wholeheartedly, which means that there are certain aspects of their sovereignty that they have to give away. And, they, and, and so... Or, and they come into what they call a power-sharing arrangement in terms of the terms of reference of that treaty. Then, on the other side, he also talked about the domestic treaty. So if we're negotiating a domestic treaty, then that domestic treaty is covered only by laws in Australia. That's all. And so, in that... If we're negotiating a domestic treaty, well, the moment you start talking to them at that level, then you've ceded your sovereignty, yeah? And that has to be reflected in the treaty, that you've ceded your sovereignty. Because now you're negotiating with them, um, and you're seeing them <clears throat> as your equal. But that's very strange for me, and I'll explain that later. But nonetheless, so you negotiate with, let's say you negotiate with the state governments of New South Wales, Victoria, West Australia, etc. Okay. Then that even lessens it even further because then you're, it's a subordinate, very subordinate treaty. Right. So basically what it is, is it's just a, an agreement. It's not necessarily an agreement titled treaty. It becomes a domestic treaty. And so you've got to remember that governments can only negotiate on what they're, what they're allowed to do under their constitution. So before you negotiate with any government, commonwealth or state, first of all, read their constitution. And when you read their constitution, you learn what powers they have, and you'll understand the limitations of the powers that they have. Yeah? They can't go beyond those powers because if the Constitution does not allow them to deal with certain issues, then it's unconstitutional in their law, right? So Victoria, for example, Victoria can talk all they want about all the goody little things, you know. But you see, what I said in my first video was understand the difference between social needs and legal and political needs. It, it, look, they have an obligation as a fundamental human right to house you, to provide you Medicare, to provide you all those things. 
You don't need a treaty to do that. They already have the responsibility to do that because they say that you are a citizen. And if they say you are a citizen, then they have an obligation. But you see, now we come to this question of what obligations do they have to their citizens. So if you're a citizen, why in the world are they negotiating a treaty with you? Because they can't negotiate a treaty with someone who they call a citizen. It's not possible. Legally, it's wrong. And so the government uh, are in a, in a bit of a mess in this regard because they haven't worked that out themselves. And so there, there are treaties that people may want to argue that, yes, that's, we, we, we can negotiate a treaty. But is it a treaty? Is it truly a treaty? And um, this is something you, everybody needs to find out about. Because I can assure you that no government in their right mind would negotiate a treaty with their own citizens. John Howard and Tony Abbott made that very clear. That it's wrong to talk about a treaty because we're treating with our own citizens. And so you need, as people, to ask your state, if you're negotiating a treaty with us, you recognize us as sovereign independent peoples who are not party, who are not citizens of your state. And if that's the case, that puts a different Situ that puts a different light on this subject. And um, if you're not thinking like that, then you're selling yourself down the drain.